Hey, what's going on, world? Peace and greetings. It's your favorite girl, Isis. Love you guys. And uh, it's Thursday, y'all. I'm super excited. I'm super grateful. I got faith that the rest of the year is about to be magical. Uh, check this out, you guys. I didn't want to make this video long at all. Um, I told myself these last four months of this year, I really want to start going live more. I really want to start to connect with people more and just be more transparent with, you know, things that I'm I'm working on. What's going on? Peace, peace. So I want to just go ahead and dive in. Whoever's here watching it live, watching it live. If not, hey, catch the replay. But um, I want to talk about two things. And like I said, this video is not going to be long. Um, what's going on? What's going on? Um, but I really just want to speak about, I want to speak about credit, right? I want to speak about business credit and I want to speak about personal credit. I feel like we've, you know, we've been taught that credit is a bad thing, right? Credit is a, is a gift, right? It, it's a gift, right? It's, it's a gift. And when we know how to fully utilize that gift, we're able to uh, we're able to benefit from it. We're able to do more things with credit, right? So we've been taught to like, oh man, I gotta pay this credit card bill. I gotta pay these bills. Well, don't see it as a bill. It's an investment, you guys. You can take credit, either business or personal, put it into something where that thing is going to multiply your money and bring you more money back. Credit is like a, let me give you the money now for later, right? There's even instance, I wouldn't recommend this, right? <laughs> but you can use credit to get crypto, right? So I want to share something with you guys. I want to share my personal uh, credit card journey on the personal side and then we'll talk a little bit about business credit, right? So, like, on a personal level, you guys, um, for the last, I want to say, maybe year and a half, um, I got myself into some good debt. Now, see, there's two types of debt. There's bad debt and there's good debt. Bad debt is you running up your credit cards, you know, to go shopping. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, bad debt is you going to go invest spend money on things that's not going to bring you no money back right it has no 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 value to it right so you got good debt you got bad debt now good debt is for example what i did so i want to say about a year to change some change ago i wanted to really get deep into real estate i wanted to really you know learn about it this is before the pandemic hit and uh, what I did is I had a very nice credit card line. You guys, my credit score was a 785, right? I always pay my stuff on time and everything, right? So I had about a uh, 60, 70K credit line. What does that mean? That means that my line of credit combined with my credit cards allowed me to get purchases that were 50, 60K. That's what that basically means. The longer you have credit, the better your credit history is, the, you know, the you paying stuff. There's a lot of different factors. I'm not going to get too deep. But when you, when you go through those factors, you put yourself in a position to be able to get longer credit card lines, right? So what I did is I invested about 60 k into my real estate school, you guys. And, of course, that put me in debt, right? I was about 60, 63 k uh, dollars in debt, you guys. Good debt, right? So my credit card score went from a 785 to a 460, you guys. So the whole year, my goal has been to pay that debt off and get my credit card, my, my credit score up, right? That's been my goal this whole year. Luckily, because of trading and investing, and Airbnb and different things that I do, I've been able to take that debt all the way down, you guys, to 20K, right? And then what I did is, what you guys want to do is, if you want to get debt off your credit card, you can get something called a consolidation loan. And when you get a consolidation loan, the consolidation loan, 
the interest is going to be lower than that credit card uh, interest, right? Some of these credit cards, if you don't pay it straight up, you know, you're paying a, um, 24 or 26 percent in interest. Well, with, with the loans, the payments are a little bit smaller, right? So what happens is I was able to wipe off my credit cards, pay everything down. Yes, the good debt of 20K is still there, but A, I achieved my goal of getting my personal credit cards cleared, which made my score go up to a 735. My goal before December is to have an 800 credit score. So I've my my goals and my 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 dreams are manifest my manifestation manifesting. Damn, I couldn't say that word right. Manifesting right now, and it's because you make certain moves, right? It's a strategy to everything. It's a strategy to everything, right? So why am I telling you guys this? Because I want you guys to know that when you bring in more money passively. And when you have a strategic financial plan, you can literally knock debt down. And I also want you guys to know that there's there's good debt and there's bad debt. So you got to ask yourself what side of the spectrum of you are you on, right? So now I was able to raise my personal credit score. <clears throat> yes, the good debt is still there, but now I can relax a little bit because I'm not worried about it being on my credit cards. And that's going to be paid off before the end of the year. Right from 60k to 20k, you guys, that's a big jump, and really, I think it to investments to crypto, you know, to different type of trading. Now, let's talk a little bit about business credit, right? Man, because this is so important, you guys. Like, business credit is so important. Business credit, if you have a business right now, LLC, sole proprietorship, right? Anything, any type of business that you have, right? You can get business lines of credit, you can get credit cards not on your social but on your business name. That doesn't mean that you go out there, get all crazy, get all willy-nilly, and just get business credit because you want to shop and run it all up like you did your personal credit. No, you want to acquire business credit because business credit, uh, certain credit card bureaus, they'll give you more of a credit line than your personal credit would even allow you. There's collateral and stuff you don't even have to do with your business credit. So your business credit allows you to get more funding and more money. What can you do with the money? Expand your business even more. Let's just say you need a certain amount of money for startup for your business, but you don't have it all up. Well, who knows? You get your business card, business uh, uh, business credit card, or put yourself in a position where you can get a um, a interest free credit card. Right. What that means is you don't even have to pay interest on the car for a year. Some of them a year, some of them are two years. That means you could just use them and just pay the payment off with not any interest. You guys, that is a big deal. Right now, in order to qualify for business credit, you don't need to have an EIN number. You don't need to have I mean, you do need an EIN number. You don't need it. Is a, it's not based off of your social. Now, some people do look at your social um, because they want to make sure that they can lend you this, even on, if it's on the business side. And that's why you want to use your Dunn's number, right? So business credit is a powerful thing, you guys. I'm actually, right now, I'm going live on my cell phone and my iPad. I really needed an iPad. And so what I did is instead of me dropping, like, you know, over a grand on it, I just used my business credit card, right? And it's interest-free. So that means I got a whole year to just pay off a grand. And come on now, that's simple, right? So a whole year to pay off a grand without any interest and increments of small payments. Now, of course, my goal is to pay it slow so that I can accumulate a good payment history. And then I'm probably just going to put at least half down and just go ahead and pay it off even quicker, right? So check this out, you guys. I don't want this video long. I really wanted to come on here. I really wanted to just shed some light on some credit, you guys. If you guys don't know, I call myself the financial alchemist. Um, my background is in financial literacy. Um, I love to be able to help people... Um, I love to be able to help people make, manage, and multiply their money, right? By all means, I'm no financial advisor, but I am sharing methods and things that have worked for me. And that literally has got me out of being in debt, being homeless to another spot, another another place in my life. So check this out, you guys. You know, 
Um, I just released a course, Five Steps to Becoming Financially Sexy. I got some credit, personal credit hacks in there. But if you want to go ahead and get your business credit together, if you want to get your personal credit together, um, I have access to a whole academy that's going to teach you how to get your LLC set up, like the the whole nine yards. If you're interested in Airbnb, you know, how to get your Airbnb together, how to do drop shipping. Like if you're really ready to become a boss and you're really ready to become an entrepreneur, you guys, I have the services and I have the tools and I have the information um, from people that's even doing better than me in life that can help you guys. So check out the link in my bio. That's for the course. I really recommend that you do the course just to get a overall, right, a overall programming of wealth and success because it takes a programming of the mind to be wealthy and successful and those five steps of my course really hit home with helping you cultivate that mindset now if you want to go ahead and get your business credit started that's a simple process it doesn't take long we can get you started with that business credit just make sure you hit me up and if you want to get your personal credit together definitely hit me up you guys so i wanted to come bring this value drop these nuggets I trust you guys are having an awesome day. Also, really quick, I'm going to be helping the next five uh, people get their cryptocurrency uh, wallet together. So also, if you want to get your cryptocurrency wallet up together, run in like the whole nine yards. I'll also help with that. Drop crypto below and drop how much you're willing to invest into the service of me helping you out. All right, you guys, y'all have an awesome day today. And you, and you guys know I'm going to catch y'all at the beaches and the banks. Peace.